Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Tor Olson, software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and today we're going to be taking a look inside of DaVinci Resolve at how to manually set the mask in Beautybox. Now if you're already familiar with Beautybox, you might be asking yourself, why would I need to manually select my mask when I can just apply and analyze the frame as I always have? And to explain that, we have to talk about what happens when I click this button right here. When I hit Analyze Frame, what's going on behind the scenes is Beautybox is running face detection as well as some other algorithms to figure out where all those flesh tones are located. Now the most important part of that little blurb of information I just blurted out was the face detection. Face detection has a lot to do with how we identify where our skin tones are located and therefore helps Beautybox figure out what colors in the subject's skin are meant to have the Beautybox effect applied to them. Now while this is great when you have a face on the screen, if you have a body part that does not have any face, such as, say, some hands, this can lead to some complications. If I add Beautybox to our footage and go ahead and analyze the frame, you might be able to see that we're not getting any masking, basically, on the hands. If I click on Show Mask, you'll be able to see that we're selecting more of the pillow than we are of the hands. And this is where Beauty Box can become problematic, when we don't have any face to reference for our Analyze Frame button. But this is why we have a way to set your mask manually. To do so, we start off with the mode parameter. Now the mode parameter is going to help us select the skin tones that we want included in our mask, but before I do any of that, I want to make sure over here that we have Open Effects Overlay selected. If I don't have Open Effects Overlay selected, say I had uh, the qualifier selected, when I go to Mode and select Set Color or Add Color, these are the choices that will allow us to select the skin tones we want included in our mask. I can click on the preview window all day, and I'm not going to be able to change the dark color and light color parameters that determine our skin tone range that is included in the mask. So, I want to make sure that I have Open Effects Overlay selected. This means that when I click on the frame, if you look over and pay attention to the dark color and light color, when I click on the hand, I'll see that dark color and light color is now including that skin tone that I just selected. From here, now that I've set a color, I can start adding colors. Um, and from here, I probably want to choose maybe one of the darker ranges of color in the frame, um, as well as some lighter ones, maybe on the tips of her fingers, like there. And now when I click on Show Mask, I can see that I'm getting a much better mask, more comprehensive mask than I was before. Maybe I can include fingers there, and that looks like some pretty good coverage. However, you might have also noticed that we are still selecting a bit of that pillow. Some of the colors in that red are also in the pinkish hues in her hand, and we don't want to select the pillow. We don't want to smooth any of the pillow fabric. We just want to smooth her hand. So for this, I'm going to start adjusting our hue, saturation, and value ranges. Now if my mask was a little too small, say I had too little of her hand selected, I could bring up each of these values to increase the range of color and therefore increase the coverage of Beauty Box's mask. But in this case, I want to bring it a little bit down. So I might take our saturation range, bring that down a bit, and you can see we're still retaining the strength in that mask on her hand while getting rid of some of that pillow. I can do the same with our value range. Again, we don't want to sacrifice too much of the mask on her hands since it's pretty good. Maybe even the hue, I could change the hue of tad. Bring it down. And this way, we're able to select as much of the actual skin tones as we can while eliminating any background images that might be picking up some of those skin tones that might have a slight overlap in color. So if I go ahead and turn off Show Mask and look at our final clip. If we go back and scrub through a bit, we'll be able to see that we have applied Beauty Box to our subject hands and we're not getting too much 
blur on our pillow. Again, just for comparison's sake, with Beauty Box, watch here, and without. And that's how you set a manual mask in Beauty Box within Resolve. If you'd like to check out Beauty Box for yourself, you can go to digitalanarchy.com, where we have free trials of the plugin, as well as many others. I'm Tor Olson, software QA here at Digital Anarchy, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.